Hey guys, it's Annie. It's been forever since I made a video. Um, I mean like years. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, and hopefully some of you have taken a trip to Hawaii by now. Um, as you guys can see from the title of my video that I am a single mother now and I am living in Hawaii again. I've actually been living here for almost two years. But I've been going through so much that I was just not able to record anything. Like, I was so excited to move back here and, like, record everything. But, like, the process has just been very, very stressful and difficult. So, unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't able to do it sooner. But I'm doing it now. Um, like I said, it's almost been two years. Um, I know, like last time i made a video i was pregnant and everything and my pregnancy did go well and i have a beautiful baby girl her name is ruby rebel she's three years old and she's actually right there playing ruby in the hallway come here mama i want to see if i could get her to come <laughs> closer ruby i hope the back of my hair don't look bad she ain't coming right now but I'll, I'll definitely show you guys but um i'll bring her closer so you guys can see her but um yeah she's sorry i'm like recording and there's a weird setting on here and i don't know what is going on but anyways yeah so i'm back in hawaii at, um and um i know you guys are like whoa like it's i know it's a lot and like what happened like why are you separated or like why you're a single mom well i am actually separated from her father not legally separated we're just like separated would be divorced by now but unfortunately um that like like i said i i literally left almost two years ago but it's just been lots of like back and forth and stuff like that um now originally he did agree to me living here moving here with our daughter um i did not do this without his consent or like with a malice intent or anything like that um i just really missed it here and when things weren't going well with him i was like do you mind ruby be careful hopefully her movie isn't too loud either but i asked him um if he mind if you know we move here or like if i move back here and he said that he didn't mind so i originally did try to find a place in san diego that's actually where we used to live i tried to find a place in san diego but their places were just so expensive and i just couldn't find anything also unfortunately he wasn't really trying to help me find a place i know you're probably like oh but he helped you find a place in hawaii he did i told like i searched <laughs> and i told him like hey if i can find like a studio or something for like a thousand dollars a month you know i think i'm gonna like would you mind if i go for it and that's what happened i got this studio for a thousand dollars a month so like i said i did try to be closer to him and be in san diego um but i just could not find anything in san diego and since he's active duty you know he's always moving and relocating not always but like every three years and he had like one more year left in san diego and i didn't know where he was gonna go but our lease was coming up and i didn't want to re-sign our lease you guys hear those birds that is literally on my lanai i live on the beach you guys and i'm paying a thousand dollars well 1100 now um a month and um, I will put a picture of my view. I don't really want to like flip the camera. Unfortunately, I would. I want to flip the camera and show you guys, but since it's kind of like you know, I feel like the island is very small. I'm not trying to just put exactly where I live um, on the internet. So I will insert a picture for you guys so that you can see the amazing view that I have. Um, and so. Like I was saying, I, I did try San Diego, but it was just no options. So I started to search here. Um, and I knew I had like three months before our lease ended. So I literally just started searching, 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 and I came upon this place. I didn't know what this place looks like, you guys. Oh, come Ruby, say hi. Ooh, say hi, Ruby. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh, you say it. Hi. Hi. Hey. You're so sweet. Thank you, Ruby. Bye. <laughs> um, she's so sweet. My oh, baby, I love her. <sighs> Anyways, 
Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, okay, okay. I didn't even know what this place looks like. I just started searching and then um i found a place i like i had like a list of things and like places that i wanted and so like my what do you call them i don't is it amenities yeah so i knew i wanted parking um i knew unfortunately for me i did not want to be in town i do not live in town i am on the island of oahu by the way um i didn't want to live in town because i did not want to be approached or have men constantly coming up to me um like i'm not trying to brag or anything but that happens a lot when i go into town and i just did not want like attention you know especially going through a divorce and everything so i decided like hmm, i'm gonna live in the country i want to have a parking spot i like to have some utilities included and um that was I think mainly oh and like washer and dryer would be nice in the unit or like on the property this place has a washer and dryer on the property which is just fine um but yeah it had like everything i wanted a thousand dollars a rent a uh, parking spot laundry not in town boom site my lease didn't even know what this place looks like uh shipped my car and then um bought and then like the day i guess so what I did was when I shipped my car, I found out like the estimate time that it was going to be here. And then I bought my ticket for that time. So the coolest thing is I bought my ticket and it, and I actually got here like three days after my car was here, which was perfect. So I got straight from the airport and then picked up my car, um, which is actually close, pretty close to the airport. So it went it went great you guys um and when i got here i was so blown away because my view is the beach um i was tripping you know oh and you know what the craziest thing i forgot to mention one of the freaking amenities that this place had that also made it check all of my boxes and that is the fact that this place is fully furnished so if you look over there i have a couch here i'll turn it there's my couch there's a blanket over there um and then there's the bed behind me and then um there is my kitchen and then like closer to the door what ruby why is the freezer open she was trying to get a popsicle um but then there's the, like the front door and then right next to the front door there's actually my restroom bathroom um but that's literally like the entire place and then also like what you guys are on is like a little like desk that i have it's kind of messy but i'll still show it to you guys so like that's the tv the stand and then this is the little desk that's a little messy and i had to like <laughs> really set this up on some stuff to kind of get this angle okay and um yeah so that is pretty much how like i found this place i actually found well i didn't say how but this is why i chose this place and like i said it's 1100 a month um i did search on craigslist and trulia and um as long as you're being smart about you know verifying everything and making sure like the website's legit and talking to a person you know you know like you guys know what you need to do when you find it a place you know when you're gonna spend your money and put your important information and do an application and all of that so um yeah that's what i did you know i kind of did my background search i read reviews and um from other people that stayed here and um yes ruby you're not getting no more popsicles no more ices no more get some water instead <laughs> anyways um yeah so i'm living back in hawaii guys now i know you guys are probably wondering um why um and what happened and i don't know if i want to go too into detail in this video about it um to be honest but um i will say that we wanted to live our lives two totally different ways i met him when i was 20 years old i'm 28 now so you can imagine when i was that young like i didn't really know what i wanted i didn't really know who i was as a person i also had a lot of things that need healing and um like you know so i'm now i'm going to therapy um but 
the main reason, even though despite those things and being young and, you know, getting married too fast, not really knowing a person fully, not seeing all sides of a person, um, it also felt like after I married this person, they changed. Um, and it was like kind of like a facade, like they put on their best, you know, like we do as people. Um, but then it was like, as soon as we got married, like everything just changed. Um, and it was, got worse when Ruby was born. Um, it was kind of like, I don't know, like he just kind of checked out. Um, sorry. <laughs> um my mind but it was yeah it was like i don't know i don't really want to talk about it in this video um not really not really i don't um it's still even though it was almost two years ago like it, i've been going through a lot in the past almost year and a half or so so it's still kind of like painful for me um and disappointing and all this other stuff but like i said i'll just talk about it in another video um this video is just kind of like a what's up guys intro like you know you guys meet ruby i tell you guys that i'm living back in hawaii and i talk about my apartment and um i'm gonna be making more videos since